In this video, I'd like to talk about factoring fourth degree polynomials using substitution. And remember that a fourth degree polynomial is one in which the highest power term is of degree four. And when we have a special case of these fourth degree polynomials where let's say in general we have ax to the fourth plus bx squared plus c, then this is factorable by a method of substitution. Since you might notice that this looks very similar to a quadratic, and we know how to factor quadratics. And more specifically, notice that this polynomial is missing the third power term and the linear term, the first power term. So if we ever have this case where we have this trinomial here missing those two terms, then this can be factored. And like I mentioned, the general strategy here is to recognize that this looks like a quadratic. In fact, if we rewrote this, instead of having x to the fourth, we could have x squared squared plus four times by x squared minus 45. It might be a little bit clearer. And what we'll do is make what's called a u substitution, or just a substitution in general. And we will set u equal to x squared. And we could use a different letter if we want, but typically u is the letter used when doing this. And when we replace x squared with u for these two factors there of these terms, then this would become u squared and we would have 4u minus 45. And essentially, we've transformed this equation into a quadratic, which we can now use the techniques of factoring quadratics for. And I do want to mention that, in general, fourth degree polynomials are very difficult to factor. And often, we can really only factor simpler versions of fourth degree polynomials. There are other techniques but this is one of the more common ones. So once we've converted this to a quadratic, now we can just use those factoring techniques and this quadratic can be factored as a product of two binomials. And if this doesn't work, we can always use the quadratic formula to figure out the factors. But we have these two binomials and we know the first terms each have to be u since u times u is u squared, and the coefficient on this is one. And then these two terms here will be constants, and they will multiply to give us negative 45. So we can start by writing out a list of factors of negative 45, and whichever factor pair works has to add to positive four. So we could have minus one and 45, or minus 45 and one. We could have minus five and nine or minus nine and five. And since we know it has to add to four, we know that this here makes the most sense. So we have u minus five and u plus nine. And once you do factor it, remember you can always test this. We could use distribution here to remultiply this out and you will see that we get back this quadratic here. Now the original problem started with the variable x and right now we have this factored in terms of u. So let's remember the substitution we made and everywhere we see a u let's plug x squared back in. So we get x squared minus 5 multiplied by x squared plus 9. Now if we wanted we could factor this a little bit further since this really is a difference of two squares. If we rewrote five as the square root of five squared, then you can see we do have a difference of two squares there. So we could continue factoring that or we can leave it as is. And it is possible to factor a sum of two squares, but we would need complex numbers for that. So that will come up in a later video. And at this point, this is our fully factored form of this quadratic. And some methods or textbooks will show you that you can really go from this step straight to this step here, essentially skipping 
this method of u substitution, but for a couple different reasons, I do prefer this method. One is that it gives you practice substituting for another variable, which is used very often in higher levels of math. And two, it makes the process a little bit clearer what's going on, and it could be a little bit cleaner looking when you first learn this. But if you prefer skipping this, that's totally valid as well, since many books or videos out there will prefer that method.